Hey everyone, this video is about 3D Canvas, a module for the Foundry Virtual Tabletop that you can slot into any campaign to add 3D capability. In future videos, we'll talk about what features are available and how to make the most of them, but today we're just going to go over how to install and get this set up and get it working. So, to start us off, you'll need Foundry Virtual Tabletop. You can get this from foundryvtt.com, a highly recommended piece of software there, forms the basis of what we're doing and 3D Canvas. So that's made by the Ripper 93 and is currently available via his Patreon and for now to patrons of Bailey Wiki. Um, we'll also be installing some content modules that include libraries of maps, props, tokens, all sorts of things that you'll need. Two of them come free with 3D Canvas, that would be the 3D Canvas map making compendium and the 3D Canvas token compendium. But I'll also definitely recommend looking at the Bailey Wiki 3D content if you haven't already. Uh, these will get installed towards the end of the tutorial. So then, first you'll need to install Foundry. This is the same as installing any piece of software on your computer, and there's already a tutorial for that on the Bailey Wiki channel, so I won't go into too much detail here. Once that's installed, you'll want to start Foundry itself. It'll ask you for your license key, so type that in there, it'll be on your emails. Then after the license page, you should be onto the main menu here. Uh, I will take a moment to say that the tutorials available on the knowledge base and these new guide features are very good for first time users, but for now we're just going to be setting up and installing 3D cameras. Okay, so if we go over here to the configuration window, you'll see the second option down, user data path. This is where Foundry saves everything, uh, images, sound, characters, worlds, the whole thing. If you're making a fresh install of Foundry here, then I recommend changing it to something much more simple, like I've got set up here, just C Foundry VTT, uh, which is what I'll be doing from here. If it's not a fresh install, you can move it, but if you've ever manually imported anything to Foundry, you'll need to move those files over to the new location yourself. Either way, the process for actually installing 3D Canvas is the same. So, once you've made a note of where that folder is, or just moved it, close Foundry, and then open up the folder in Windows Explorer. In this case, over right here, C Foundry VTT. You should find a config, data, and logs folder in there. Go into data, and then into modules. Now that we're here, I'm going to look back over to the desktop, right click this level 3D preview zip that I got from Ripper and click Extract here. This will create a level 3D preview folder. Uh, I'm just going to drag that in here to the modules folder and then that is the hardest part of the installation done. Once you've done that, fire Foundry back up and this time go to the modules tab or add-on modules tab rather. You should see 3D canvas on the list here. Um, you'll also see underneath it dependencies listed, uh, lib wrapper, levels, wall height, and socket lib. Uh, what we'll do is we'll install those using the install module button down here. It'll take a second to just load. This is also where you would install most other modules to do absolutely anything with Foundry. So to install these, I'm just going to go up here to filter packages and type in uh, the name of each one. So there's lib wrapper, installed. There's Levels. Levels is going to come up with an Install Package Dependencies window. Um, it'll say that it requires wall height, so install the dependency automatically, and that also adds wall height in. Lastly, I'll install Socket Lib. If at some point in the future 3D Canvas becomes available via Foundry integration, uh, you'll just be able to type something like 3D Canvas in here, and then it'll just appear in this menu. Then all you need to do is click install, just like we did for those dependencies. So 3D Canvas is now installed and ready to use, but before we go try it out, um, what I'm going to do is copy in some URLs to this manifest URL field. I'll put these in the description of the video. They are for the 3D Canvas token collection. the 3D Canvas map making compendium. These modules come with 3D Canvas and they basically include a whole array of character minis, monsters, um, as well as tools and environmental objects that you can use to build your own maps. And the last thing to add, if you're a supporter of BaileyWiki over on Patreon, 
is the BaileyWiki 3D module. Uh, this is a library module containing everything 3D from the Patreon. A lot of useful stuff in there. And it's also got the stuff that I used to create the map you saw in the intro. Okay, so that's everything installed and ready to go. What I've done here is I've created a blank test world, just to show you, um, and we're going to set up 3D Canvas and get it working inside an example scene. So, to start off with, we're going to go up top right to the Game Settings option, and then Manage Modules. What we'll need to do is just check the box next to 3D Canvas, agree to check everything else, and then check everything else that's in here as well since these are all the modules we installed earlier and their dependencies. So you click on Save Module Settings. And this will reload 3D Canvas. All right then. So now we've got everything enabled, I'm going to create a example scene. Just, there we go, scene no one. Now, I don't need to touch any of the settings in here, so I'll just click Save. And so to actually enable the 3D mode, we'll go up here to token controls in the top left, and then click on this cube here, toggle 3D mode, and you are in. Hold right click to pan the camera around, hold left click to rotate it around, and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. You can also click on this little orange arrow way in the top right to disable the constraints on the camera and allow you to rotate it freely. So, the two most important things you'll probably want to be doing are getting 3D tokens in here and getting 3D environments for them to be in. If you've already got character tokens set up, when you drag them in, they'll appear as a standy miniature uh, that turns to face the camera. I'll just create a character here. Sure, sure. If you create a new character, he'll show up on a little base using whatever the default image that you set for him is. In this case, we'll just call him Bob. So to make this guy 3D, we need to double right click on him. It opens up the token configuration. You've probably seen all this before. Then you go to this new 3D tab. And next to 3D model, click on Browse Files. What I'm going to do is go to the Canvas 3D Token Compendium, which is the one that came with 3D Canvas. And let's pick this Elric of Melbourne guy. He looks pretty neat. Looks like he's standing off-center a bit. That's an easy fix. If you double right-click to open the configuration, click Show Advanced Settings, and then untick Auto Center about halfway down, he sits in the middle. We'll talk about how to get a bit more texture, get a bit more uh, life out of these untextured minis, or of course, you can just import your own. So as for environments, these are 99 times out of 100 going to be tiles. So what we need to do is go down to Tile Controls on the left and click on Tile Browser. What I'll do is I'll go up to the BaileyWiki 3D. And let's say we want this brick and wood house in the scene here. We're going to make a tower or something. What we need to do is click and drag it into the scene. And then in order to move them around, right click to select and drag these arrows. For a quick reference, the hotkeys for moving them around is T for translate, to rotate them is R for rotate, and then to scale them is S for scale. But that one's a little bit sensitive. You can also control Z to undo any changes you've made, so you don't need to worry about messing things up. All right then, that's 3D Canvas installed, activated and working. There's a lot more to talk about than this, but we're going to cut the video here. For now, I encourage you to go in, test it out, see what you can make with it, see what inspires you, see what you can do to bring your scenes to life. We're going to continue this series of tutorials on 3D Canvas in Foundry. Um, so we'll see you in the next one.